Hi, I'm Sneha Menon Desai. This is FC Flash. Let's dive straight into everything that made news and entertainment this week. First up, the trailers that dropped Akshay Kumar's Kesari, which also stars Parneeti Chopra. Why is it called Kesari? So apparently the color the soldiers wore is of great significance to the makers of the film. At one point in the trailer, Akshay's character asked someone, do you know what saffron signifies? It's the color of bravery and sacrifice. In election year, of course, the makers know better than that. Another propaganda film on the way? Meanwhile, a trailer I really enjoyed was Photograph. Ritesh Patra directs Nawaz Din Siddiqui and Sanya Malhotra in the film. It tells the story of what transpires when two people from totally different worlds collide. You know, we've already reviewed the film after it screened at the Berlin and Sundance Film Festivals. You can read the reviews on filmcompanion.in. Also releasing on the same day as Photograph is Milan Talkies. Filmmaker Tigman Shudulya returns to the hinterland with this one and this time he takes actor Ali Fazal along. The film is set in Uttar Pradesh and Ali plays an aspiring film director. But the trailer, which comes across as dated, didn't excite me much, especially after loving Ali in Amazon Prime's Mirzapur. Salman Khan launched two new talents with his next production venture, Notebook. Zaheer Iqbal, the son of his childhood friend Iqbal, who Khan said he still owes 2011 rupees to, and Pranutan Bell, the daughter of his friend and actor Manish Bell, who is also the granddaughter of Nutan. They also have five adorable kids for company who seem to have the swag of Salman himself. Notebook, directed by Nitin Kakkar, releases on March 29th. More movie announcements. Some films I'm really looking forward to now have release dates. The Sky is Pink, starring Priyanka Chopra and Farhan Akhtar, will release on October 11th. What looks like a super quirky act for Ayushman, Dream Girl, will release on 13th September. And in case I haven't mentioned it already, Mard Ko Dard Nahi Hota finally has a release date. It will release with Akshay Kumar's Kesari on March 21st. Here's hoping it gets all the love it deserves. Meanwhile, short filmmaker Mansi Jain recently launched an all-women's collective of artists and technicians from the industry that aims at sourcing talent and giving each other access to connections, help and experience. The unnamed collective has been modelled on the all-women film fatals group in Hollywood, which enables film technicians to mentor each other. Some of the women in the collective include producer Guneet Monga, filmmaker Lina Yadav, singer Jocelyn Royal and actress Seema Pawa. Moving on to an investigative piece that exposed 36 Bollywood celebrities. Investigative website Cobra Post alleged that several celebrities from Bollywood, the music and television industries had consented to promote the political narratives of some parties on their social media for money in return. In most cases, the party was the BJP, in some others, it was the Aam Admi Party or the Congress. This was part of an investigation that Cobra Post dubbed Operation Karaoke, where they posed as employees of a fictitious public relations agency. Some of the actors mentioned, like Sunny Leone and Sonu Sood, have been quick to take to their social media to refute the claims. Another controversy, the Indian Film and Television Directors Association released a statement confirming Navjot Singh Sidhu's removal from the Kapil Sharma show. They've also terminated all his services with Sony Entertainment Channel. This came after the former cricketer's comments on the Pulwama terror attack, where he said that a nation cannot be held responsible for the acts of terrorists and that terrorism had no religion. While Sidhu got strong support from Kapil Sharma, who even held a press conference to address the issue, it looks like Iftada isn't looking to soften its stance anytime soon. And finally, on to my video of the week. It has to be this comical behind-the-scenes clip of Kangana Ranaut on a fake horse during the filming of the battle scene from Manikarnika. Camera's ready. Roll. Roll. Holding, sir. British. Horse. And cut. I mean, it sums up the actor so well in all her fire and fury. That's it from me this week. Reviews of Total Damal are up on our YouTube channel and website. Do visit filmcompanion.in.